Jeff Mayweather, okay, says that Earl Spence needs a couple tune-ups uh, fights before he come back. My thing is this, bro. I mean, what's his ambition at this point? He already came back from the car accident. He said his bag is legit. He gave money. At what point? What else you want? A lot of them PBC fighters, they don't really have the ambition. They don't really have the ambition. And my Wale boys, my ambition. They don't really have the ambition to go out there and um, they don't really have the ambition to go out there and um, they don't really have the ambition to go out there and be, you know, multi-division world champions. You know, come on, man, Sean Porter didn't do it. Thurman didn't do it. You know, only a few ones that did it was like Danny Garcia, the chart. Jamal did it. Jamel didn't. So, come on. Let's keep it funky. Um, you know, so it's just to the point when um, it's just to the point when you kind of look at it. Uh, when you look at it, um, you know, you got to ask yourself, what's his motivation? You already came back. You already came back. So what's the motivation? What's the motivation? That's what you got to ask yourself. What's the motivation at this point? You know, and if your motivation is just to get money, you're going to go in there and get that ad whoop. You're going to go in there and get that ad whoop. That's what's going to happen. You're going to go in there and get beat down, kid. So it got to be something more than, than money. You know what I'm saying? It got to be something more than money. So, you know, if it's just, you know, to show your family you keep pushing, you keep coming back. Hey, man, I ain't mad at it. You know, if it's uh, um, if it's really you really want to become a multi world champion, cool. If you want to build yourself back back, so you uh, so you can beat Terrence Crawford, whatever. As long as it's something that it drive it drives you, it literally drives you. You ain't driven by money. But as far as you know, what he, you know he should do. I mean, you know, does he need some tune? Absolutely. But the problem is when you take tune ups, you got to take steps back. And financially, a lot of these dudes ain't willing to take steps back financially. Ain't nobody willing to take a little bit less to gain more. Ain't nobody trying to say, oh, well, you know, we, we got to pay you less. So the money get, get dudes in a lot of trouble. That's what you got to remember. The money get dudes in a lot of trouble. That's one thing that y'all got to understand. You chasing money, get you in a lot of trouble. For real. It gets you in a lot of trouble. Because you're not you looking at the money. You ain't looking at, you know, the who, what, where, why, and the other integral parts. So, you know, if he's smart, especially if you're going to be linking up with a new trainer, if dog smart, then the first thing dog going to do is uh, he going to take some tune-ups. He should be as active as possible, even if the money a little bit funny. You know, he should be as active as possible. That's what I would do. That's just my my humble opinion on it. You know, I'd be as active as possible. You know, he should be as active as possible. Get back in the string of things, you know, get about three or four quick ones in a row. You know, get back hungry. I mean, he need to move out of Dallas, too. I've been saying that. But, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's him. He said, Jeff Mayweather uh, wants Errol Spence to take some tune-ups against someone who's a pushover rather than jumping straight back into it. See, this dude, Chris Williams, is a bitch. Let me just say that first and foremost. He's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm just keeping it real, bro. Just the way he write articles, he he's a bitch. Really is. 
Well, he just wants him to fight somebody who's a pushover and who's not that good. Hey, dude, dude just got damn near got the life beat out of his ass. What, what the fuck you expect him to do? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know, that's crazy. Yes, he need tune-ups. Go put him in there back in there with, with a killer like Tim Zhu or Fondor and see what happens. You know, go see what happens. Come on, man. He says, I know Earl really well. He's a great guy. I just uh don't know how he's going to come back from that fight. Jeff Mayweather told Job McAllister about whether, you know, uh, Earl Spence Jr. can come back from the loss with Terrence Crawford. You know, sometimes guys can come back from fights like that, and I can test to that, Jeff, said Jeff with Spence. I think he needs to take some easy fights first, uh, find out where he's at, rather than jump right back into fire with Crawford and Tim Zhu right now. So uh, he said, I just think he doesn't need that, Jeff uh, continue, uh, continue to with Spence. just think he needs to get back to the feeling that the way he was before that loss. I don't care. Even if he's fighting a guy that's a real pushover, he needs a win to keep him motivated. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the dude don't need to rise to the top at 154. A absolutely, he, he, he deserves a uh, – he needs an easy fight. You know, he can say, well, tune-ups is for people that's unsure. Remember Earl said that, and probably some niggas don't use that against him. But the way he got his ass beat, man, go ahead and hop back in there with a killer. You know what I'm saying? You could take time off. Deontay Water took a bunch of time off, but the damage was done physically. From the three fights with Tyson Fury, say what you want to say. He took punishment in all three. Anytime somebody outweigh you in a fight by 30, 40, 50 pounds, you taking punishment, bro. That's punishment. That's punishment. It's a lot of punishment. And Jeff is exactly right. That's logical thinking. But if he follow, he 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 just want to go out there and he want to prove that that was a blip or I was really injured and I, you know, go ahead. But once people see you take that type of ass whooping, that's just going to make your opponent go that much harder to break you down. And he can rest his body all he want to. You know what I'm saying? He can build the strength back up. But until he get back in there, you know, we won't know. So he should. Man, he should take about three or four uh, tune-ups. Just just good little quick fights, even though he do a little UK tour and become the Commonwealth champion for a second. Look at AJ. He fought two no-fucking bodies, and people say, oh, AJ's back. AJ's back. AJ's back. You know what I'm saying? He fought two no-bodies, bro. Fought a non-boxer, and who did he beat before that? Uh, Ida Wally, I won't say Ida Wally is nobody, but come on. And people talking about he's the best. Well, he's the best heavyweight. How you the best heavyweight? Who's he whooped that ass twice? I just saying, dog. I just saying. You know, I'm just saying. Just being honest. So. Of course, that's the logical thing to do. He should just get as active as possible. That's what I would do. He should get as active as possible. You know? That's real shit. He should get act as active as possible. Square business. He should get as active as possible getting the rhythm. And first, first and foremost, he just got to figure out if this is what he want to do. That's what you got to figure out. Is this what I want to continue to do, you know, um, right now? Do I want to go put my body back through that punishment? You know, so th th those, are, those are questions that, you know, only he can answer. To be real. So those are only questions that he really, he really truly can answer. But in my humble opinion, uh Jeff is a hundred percent right. Think about two, two minimal. 
But to, t- to convince somebody his age to take some less money and take a step back and fight on regular TV, man, he didn't even want to fight Sean Porter on regular Fox. The last football this Sunday would have been a big thing for his brand. He cried and wanted to go on pay-per-view. So they don't understand the bigger picture. They don't understand sometimes you got to sacrifice to build your brand. That's why you see dudes, you know, dudes give out, L- you know, free LPs. Dudes giving out free merch. So when people see they people see the free merch that they, you know, that people wearing, people gonna say, damn, you know, where you get that shirt from? And that's gonna bring business in as long as yo, 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 as long as yo, uh, as long as yo, as long as yo, uh, yo shit is 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 hot, is is quality. You know, as long as yo shit quality, niggas gonna fuck with it. For real. You know, they're going to mess with it. So, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find us on X, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.